Hey there, what's up with my Dutch channel and this is the 14th video of our exciting series build your own virtual assistant and today in this video we're going to provide our virtual assistant some more natural voices which is going to work on every device like I have seen a lot of comments saying STTS is not that like STTS is not recognized as a drum you all are facing some error with that STTS so I'm going to show you another way to integrate some natural voice which is quite more faster than this so sit back relax and let's get started okay so there is a website called text dot online which allow us to convert our text into speech in a lot of voice a lot of locale and it's better than our speak function that we have created using HTTPS. So in this video, we're going to automate this website using Python Selenium. Let me tell you one thing that I have already automated this website and I'm going to tell you how and what are the things that I have done to automate it. Okay. So let me show you the code up to line number 20. It's the basic code of Selenium to open any website. I think you are familiar with this if you have watched that bot scrapper video so now after that i have created a variable called select voice like there are a lot of voice so like let me show you by using this japanese voice i want this japanese voice to be there in my ai so first let me right click and inspect so to select a voice what i need to do is just click on this selector select japanese and click on this voice and select male or female right so let me so here i have created a function called def select voice where there is a variable called local this this local selector so whenever i hover my mouse cursor in this local and click then you can see there is a id called local in this select element so what i have done is i have tell my driver to find the element by id i mean it's going to open that website and search for the element having id local and going to perform a click on that element now when this when this line is executed it's going to click on this thing and now i want to find japanese so let me click on this little icon over here go over here and now i need to find my voice here so i'm using japanese so let me select that thing okay so it's right over here just click on that voice that you are going to use and perform a right click and then click on copy click copy x path now it's going to copy this element x path then I have created a variable called Japanese voice. Okay. So this is the X path of that Japanese voice that we have just copied and it's going to find that element and perform a click on that. Now it's going to open this, click on this and now our local has been selected. So now we need to select the voice also. For that, let me select this element and now there is a select element with the ID voice so i have created a variable called voice which is going to tell my driver to find an element with the id voice and going to perform a click on that so so now it's going to click on that and i want this female voice so let me just okay so here is that female voice let me right click click on copy copy x path and paste that x path right over here and i'm going to perform a click on that too so now whenever this thing is going to be executed it's going to first find the local then going to click on that then going to sleep for 0.7 seconds and then it's going to find the japanese voice option and going to click on that and then going to sleep for some time and then again going to find the voice select element and then going to sleep for seven second i mean seven millisecond and then going to find the female voice and going to perform a click on that okay i have got this thing now now that i have selected the voice i want to send some text over here and click on this play button so that it will start to convert my text into speech okay so first let me hover on this and click on that here it's a text area element and 
it consists of an id called text so let me select it from selenium by writing like i have created a variable called text area which is going to tell my driver to find the element that consists the id text okay so now the text area has been selected now let me show you something like whenever i change some voice then it's going to add the default text right over here i don't want that text so what i can do is i can use this dot clear function in the text area so that it's going to be clear and then i have used a uh, send keys function to send the keys what it is going to do is we're going to take some text in the parameter and then going to send that text inside that text area after sending the text we're going to make it to sleep for one second so that everything will be go as we want and then let me go to this play button and it has an id called quick play so we're going to select it from selenium and then going to perform a click on that so it's going to play that file now here what i have done is i have uh, call this select voice very uh, i mean function which is going to select the voice and then i have created a while loop which is going to ask for an input and whenever i input something then it's going to pass that is uh, input in this very in this function so it's going to speak the text that i have provided in this input field okay so let me show you okay so it's going it's chinese currently and it's going to open that and click on japanese and click on female and it is done let me go and write something like Hello, my name is Okay, now it's working. Hello, my name is Jardy. Okay, so now let's connect it in our AI assistant. Let me go on GPT for free here from from head dot speech scrapper import speak function and let me come in let me delete this okay so now i think we are good to go let me run this thing oh wait wait a second i need to remove this thing control slash and now to work properly hey there how are you Okay, so it is giving some error. Let me see what's the error and fix that quickly. If you use the website without logged in, then it's going to ask you like it is going to show you some alert. So what you need to do is just you just have to paste this script, which is going to select all the elements with the class dot quickly alert and set their display to none so that they are not going to be visible okay so now let me run this and show you if it is actually working or not okay let me put them side by side hey there what's up hello i'm an ai assistant here to help you with any questions or tasks you have how can i assist you today Introduce yourself in Japanese language. So you can say it's working fine and yeah, that much for today's video and I hope you found this very helpful. So this code will be in our GitHub so you can access this code from there or i'll put the link in the description so yeah that's much for today's video and i'll see you in the next video till then take care bye bye